Hey dumplings, it's Dave's side. Today I want to get into V getting shirtless and gay theories when V was talked about in a car. I also want to get into Google celebrating BTS and of course J-Hope revealed some things that we might be interested in. So hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Go grab your dumplings, he's spilling my merch and let's get into it. The first thing that we need to talk about is Google celebrating BTS. As of talking to you right now, the celebration is still going on. If you aren't aware, ARMY's birthday is July 9th. This is the fandom's birthday, not a particular person. So the fandom has turned nine years old and nine years ago this day was the day BTS had announced what their official fandom name will be. Their debut was in June 13th so it took them just under a month to get the fandom name out. I think usually the label will have the fandom name right after they pick the boy band name but in this case they probably wanted to think about it and they came up with various names. I think one of them RM admitted to being Bell or something which would have been terrible as it would have made no sense to their name BTS which stands for Bang Tang Son Yonde so Bulletproof of Boy Scouts is the direct translation. So ARMY makes a lot more sense as their fandom name and I'm definitely glad they picked it. So what is this celebration? You can Google BTS and then you'll see a purple heart balloon thing. All you have to do is click on it and then you'll get a bunch of balloons appear on your screen and if you click on it you can pop them and if you pop one with a microphone on it you can actually hear a random member wish ARMY happy anniversary or whatever. It's very cute and cool and I have a big feeling this was something that BTS had worked on for a while. Maybe they got in touch with Google to celebrate the anniversary and plan something like this. I was seeing some people asking BTS if they had any idea that this was happening, but I feel like the boys obviously had to have known. Google needed the members to record their voices, so they had to have asked them. This is very cute and such a cool way to celebrate. It seems the world has acknowledged BTS and the fandom. I think there are very few artists and important public figures that a company like Google has acknowledged in such a way, let alone the fandom. Like if they honor the art Artists, it's just what the artists did. They never celebrate a fandom's anniversary. So this is pretty cool, which is something I never thought I'd see. BTS or K-pop has always just felt like an underground thing, something that we known within a cult following, but something that mainstream will never acknowledge. Google is definitely mainstream and them recognizing the anniversary and celebrating it as almost a holiday is such a cool and amazing thing. A couple years ago, I went on the street to ask random people if they knew BTS and most people didn't. I don't think this would be the same response today. This wasn't the only celebration that existed. V, as per usual, did go ahead and jump online and give his well wishes to the fandom on this glorious day. He posted on Weverse a shirtless picture with the caption saying happy birthday. People were freaking out as most of the American part of the fandom had just woken up. So people had just woken up to this and V being shirtless. People were making jokes like if you were V's partner, you would wake up to thirst traps like this. I think we're just just going to have to get used to the idea that V is naked sometimes. That that's weird to ever think about because if you watch any BTS reality shows, like even their very popular series Bon Voyage, where they go into hot springs or swimming pools, you'll quickly see that they go into these bodies of water with all their clothes on. They have a t-shirt and they're just completely clothed. By the way, I'm currently reacting to a lot more Bon Voyage. We get to join the boys in traveling the world and doing fun things. If you're interested in checking that out with me, I'll link my Patreon below. But it actually feels feels like they're even more naked than normal when you see V shirtless or whatever because it's so weird to see them like that. Like even the idea that they shower naked, like no, they don't do that. They're just clothed when they shower. But V didn't only drop this shirtless selfie, which I want to add, he might not even be shirtless. He could be wearing a tube top, you never know. But anywho, before armies could even recover from that photo, we were slapped with a 52 minute long video. 52 minutes, the two words actually ended up trending because it was like a full hour of just V. Like, like that's a lot of V and we're not complaining. 52 minutes is almost sometimes as long as you hang out with your friends. Sometimes you just grab lunch with a friend, chat, and then go home and it's only an hour. So it literally felt like armies were just hanging out with V for an evening or a date or something. Many people called this a date with V as a lot of the clips were clips where he was showing a more romantic side. He was laying there looking at the sky or whatever and then moments where we saw V in a car and he was just being candid with how he was feeling. Something interesting mentioned in the car was he answered some questions on the album and his solo work. He felt like a lot of the songs he had made didn't fit or maybe he liked them initially but didn't like some of the others so he deleted the others only to maybe feel like the initial one didn't fit with the overall theme of the album anymore. That's kind of just my interpretation of what he said. He didn't say that exactly but he did say this is probably why he is taking so long with it. He also mentioned that he will release one album that doesn't have to have one sound. I think it's easy to be caught up in something having to have to be a certain way when in art and in creating things you 
you should be free. Do whatever. Art is always the best when you just do it. I think artists or anyone who makes things, it becomes very difficult when you see that one particular thing works and that everyone likes it. But that artist has other interests as well. And they're scared to explore those interests in fear other people or their current audience may not like it. And this is understandable because people have multiple interests. But what binds thousands to millions of people to one person is all those people have one common interest. If that artist that is the common interest decides to do something else, that audience has to move on to another person or the artist has to find thousands of new people that have this new interest. In which case, V's main thing that everyone will like to see from him is pop. He may want to explore jazz and all that, and I think he can. Pop can then be his lead single of the album, but then he can definitely explore rock or jazz music and have like one or two songs in the album reflect that. I'm glad that he had this conversation in the car and it really felt like a good update as armies were wondering for a long time. There was also a moment where V turned on the radio and was listening to a bunch of really popular radio songs and he was singing along and dancing along. It was really fun because I think we all imagine ourselves doing this in the car too but then some people were talking about V might be gay because he turned on and sung along to Troy Savant. Troy if you don't know was actually a YouTuber first. His channel is still up and he wasn't like Justin Bieber where all his videos were covers or whatever. Troy did vlogs and rants and stuff and he was really funny but he came out on YouTube ages ago and he is one of the main mainstream artists that have songs that are entirely about being gay. People are saying that V knowing the lyrics or is vibing because he might be gay as well. It's totally possible but that's a weird theory to go by because it's interesting to say he is vibing to a gay song that that means he's gay but then him vibing to other songs that are straight doesn't make him straight. Troy has a great voice. I imagine a lot of straight people actually really like his music. Troy is also a very diverse artist who has sung about mental health and depression too. A lot of themes that BTS has followed as well. And who knows? Maybe they took inspiration off of each other. So that could be why V would have a mutual respect and love for Troy's music. Obviously also Troy is in a relationship so there is no chance that Troy would be on a gay date with V. While definitely some people were joking about the two, others were feeling very romantic vibes because the whole vlog was like a date and a romantic thing. But I don't think the two have ever actually publicly met. I do hope they do and we get a song with them or something. I hope we see the solo album come to life and maybe we can even have some of these amazing artists feature on a single or something. I was excited to see J-Hope talk more about his single and album. He recently came on a live stream to reveal and discuss everything. He was excited to go solo for a little bit but talked about not likely having a world tour as he would feel like it would be difficult for him to manage that. I don't see why it would be difficult for him to do that alone. He's already done a world tour with BTS, so he knows how it goes, but he wants to hold off. And then an ARMY actually asked him about the friendship tattoo. This is something ARMYs have been wondering about for a long time. All the members have shown their seven tattoo and the placement of it except for Suga. So someone asked J-Hope on the stream where Suga's tattoo was. J-Hope actually revealed that it would be something Suga should talk about and reveal it himself. But I think a lot of people were just just curious if he got it at all. And now we have confirmation that he might have one. It's J-Hope not wanting to reveal where it is. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about J-Hope revealing the truth about Suga? What do you think about his shirtless pic and him listening to Troy in the car? And what do you think about Google's celebration? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.